On Thursday night, off a small dock to the south of Copenhagen, journalist Kim Vahl departed with celebrity engineer and rocket scientist Peter Madsen in his self-designed submarine. Okay. 17 hours later, Madsen was rescued by locals after his submarine had sunk without Kim Val. What happened in those 17 hours has been the subject of fevered speculation. Madsen's account of the night's events given to the police has been of particular interest. This is the rather gloomy looking dock that Peter Madsen claims to have dropped off Kim Val at about 10.30 p.m. on Thursday. Now it's 10.30 p.m. tonight, and as you can probably see, there's no one around. But helpfully for the police, a local bar owner here claims to have the whole area covered with CCTV, and we're gonna see him tomorrow. Right, so there's loads of CCTV here, clearly. Yes. There's one there. That's correct. Uh, there's another one there. Yeah. Uh, there's another one over there. Yeah. And it's great. all looking out over this dock where Peter Madsen claims to have dropped off Kim on Thursday. Yes. So you've actually seen the footage? I have seen the footage, yes. So what does it, what does it tell us? Uh, I'm not going to tell you. Uh, this is between the police and me. So you have this information, but you're not going to even try and, and clear up this mystery right now? No, what, I, what I'm saying is that I have bits and pieces of information, but I don't, I don't in, in any way can comment on what happened totally, no. On Thursday night, workers around the south of the dock were helping to set up a music festival. Thomas Jensen was on shift. You were here on Thursday night until when? Until like 11, 11.15. 11, 11.15 yeah. on Thursday night? Thursday night, yeah. So Peter Madsen claims that he brought the submarine back yeah. here at 10.30. Did okay. you see the submarine? No. no. I didn't see any submarine. We saw the submarine uh, over here, like the days before, but but not uh, not here. Excuse me, madam. Uh, we're from the BBC. Okay. Uh, we were just um we were wondering. I wanted just to quickly ask you. Do you live on this boat? Yeah. Oh, okay. Were you here on Thursday night? Uh, on th uh, yeah. Actually, I was here, but I didn't see anything. I I was sitting in my at my couch. Kim Val grew up in the small Swedish town of Trelleborg and is a talented journalist, writing in the New York Times and The Guardian, among others. Her neighbours are shocked. We knew her since she was a small kid, Kim Val, and uh, we also know the family. There are lots of people knowing the family and so, and also her. So, um, yeah, that's a sad story. It's a very strange story as well. <laughs> you really can say. Because there are no answers yet. Peter Madsen's submarine sank in Coor Bay, 30 miles from Copenhagen. He says because of a technical fault. One of the first people to locate Peter Madsen's submarine was a guy called Christian Isback. Now, I've spoken to Christian Isback, and he told me that as he approached the submarine, it began to sink. Police now think he may have scuttled his own sub. Peter Madsen is well known here in Denmark. He calls himself an inventrepreneur with a goal of putting people into space. His submarine is said to be one of the biggest of its kind in the world, and it's something he was deeply proud of. Tom Niederreiter is a friend of Madsen's. What do you think happened? Hmm. I have no idea. I've, 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 I mean, it's, it's really bizarre. It's, it's really bizarre. I mean, he, he's been out there a lot with people. I've been sailing with him on that submarine. He, obviously, he had, he had girls out with him sailing and all that, but... but what happened that particular day, I have absolutely no idea. I mean, I've, obviously, it's strange that he sank his U-boat. I mean, it, it looks like he, uh, that's what the police said. He, he sunk it uh, on purpose, and that is really bizarre. Why, why would anybody do that? 
it's his life's work. It's like he, he, uh, he, he it, it was such a huge effort to, to build this boat and it was such a big part of him and his life. So it's strange. Some of Peter Madsen's story raises more questions than answers. And as a result, the focus automatically shifts to Kim Val. What was she doing in Peter Madsen's submarine? Was she investigating him? Or did something just go terribly, terribly wrong? One of the possibilities is that this is murder, and obviously then you need to look for a motive. Mm. Uh, you know, are, are, are there journalists that sort of do investigations on Peter Madsen? Has that been done before? No, not in this kind of way. I've never seen investigation into that, and I, I must say that I think that I'm, I'm, the, I'm the journalist that, that by far has written the most about him, so I, I would know that. I see him as a, as a very nice and loving uh, person with, with very sound core values. He was obviously a man that, that had fights with a lot of people. I mean, he has a whole uh, water of people behind him that he has been in fights with. Uh, and I have been in arguments with him myself, but I've never experienced an, an, an unstable man in the sense that I am afraid of him. Madsen denies the charges against him and says he's innocent. But Kim Val is still missing. And as the days draw out, hope of finding her alive diminishes. It's like a book. It starts with something has happened, and now we are in the middle, but we hope that there will be some end of it. So we know how this uh, sad thing or good thing will end up.